today we have a new pram, as you can see. You can see it's in terrible shape. It's raining out and the whole bit. Um, I don't think that's why this pram is in terrible shape. I think it was in terrible shape before it went out in the rain, but it has also had some time in the rain. I have no idea how to use this, so we're just going on with it. I really am normally great, but my mum just helped me figure out how to put this up. It has a weird safety button here, and to fold it, that's how you would fold it, but you also um, put it back up that way as well with both of them. So anyways, I'll figure all that out, but I just wanted to show you like some before photos. So we've got like, I guess, mold or stuff on the handlebar covers. They're a little bit twisted. I'm sure I can twist them back where they're supposed to be. Got all leaves. Um, I'm just gonna, I think, take the whole frame apart and give it a, a, a quick spray, I'm thinking. This liner is really bad, so I pulled that out and got that. I can either take that out and wash it or get rid of it, and then this fabric here seems to be okay. Not sure about the footwell, but this is like a rubbery substance anyway. Um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna pull it all apart and soak it. And then, <laughs> we only got one of the Maxi Cozy adapters. I'm kind of bummed, but at least I know what I'm looking for. That's why I grabbed it as well. Um, and it was in the seat. I don't want to be like annoying and not take all of it. And then this here, <clears throat> would you believe what that is? That is a baby jogger deluxe bassinet, I believe. That's what it is. And I thought, yes, it does. No, yes, yes. I think this should fit onto the Versa. I'm really not sure, but that's what I thought it was. So same thing, I think a cat has really enjoyed this. Ew. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, look at it all. Oh my God, I swear a cat has had babies in here. <laughs> and I also got these adapters. Now I'm pretty sure that is for the the City Mini and the City Mini GT because it like clips onto the side or I'm maybe I can make it work on another frame like no that's not it has to be a round frame so anyways same thing I'm gonna strip them and wash them I have no idea what these are these were just free oh Peg Grego so that's for the capsule adapters maybe I don't know but it says Peg Grego on there all right let's get started Ha, <laughs> Squashed this little button off. Oh, the button's here. And squashed my finger. But now this should, it's got like a wire in it. And it should, if I can push this around enough, it should come out here. Which is what it's doing. It's just not the easiest thing to do. Oh my gosh. Pull, push, pull, push. All right, this is gonna be, oh man. This is tricky. I'm going to ask my mum to help me, I think. I don't want to even think about getting this back on. Oh my gosh. Man, this is tough. <laughs> I have no idea how to get this seat off. Because it's on as the same way. But this has to come apart. And this is pop riveted together. So... I don't know how this is going to come apart video was totally unplanned, totally unprepared. I was literally driving past on the side of the road and I saw this pram and I also saw the, the Versa Baby John Bassett and I was just like, I have to get them, it's raining. 
And then I was like, because they're a little bit moldy or because the, well, not that they're moldy, but because they're wet already, I have to like clean them now. So you can see I've got in the bath, I have two hoods, I have the bassinet insert, I have that liner. That liner is probably really not going to clean up well. You can see there where I actually scrubbed it with a brush, I think. But all of this mold is really just not going to come out, so I'm really not going to bother. But I was going to wash it and clean it so I can get the shape and make a pram liner. So I've got two hoods, oh the basket and the bassinet liner and that liner, I think, in there. And I could not figure out how to get this seat off at all. No idea how to get that off. So I put it on top of the bath and I got a brush, a scrubbing brush, and I scrubbed it. And I apologize that I didn't film all this. It's just that I was in the middle of a, an online TAFE call and I, I just physically couldn't. And I was trying to get home to my computer because I thought we were gonna have to do work but it was just a you know 20 minute call um, just to check how we're going. So yeah, I'm gonna stay and finish this now and film it. Uh, well, it looks really good, like look at this. Like that's super clean. You remember seeing this before, like yes, it's wet, so it probably looks really good, but these had like molds on them, but it wasn't like a set in mold. Like I think it was only just in there. So. I think they're good. Um, I scrubbed the back of the seat as well. It had some um, some mold down the bottom on it. I don't know. It seems to be okay now. I want to spray paint that black again, and I may as well do the rest of it as well. So up here, the frame needs to be wiped down. The handlebar covers I've like twisted back to where I think that they should go. I have not washed these, but I have washed and wiped up this one, so you can see the difference that does come up a little bit nicer. It does have a slight mark, um, like some peeling at the back, and it's starting to peel at the front. But that's the brand Baby, B-A-B-Y, B-A-E. But yes, so we need to wipe these handlebars up. I'm going to wipe the whole frame over. I'm going to let that soak. You can see the water's brown. Uh, so that's fun. I might slush it a bit around and then take the water out and put a new lot in there to soak it in fresh water. I put disinfectant in there. I put some soap in there, like some washing. That's like washing laundry liquid bit of disinfectant because it had some moldy bits on it and then some of the laundry booster and smoker and then I got the scrubbing brush and scrubbed all of that stuff down and then I got uh, a cloth to wipe the leatherette down because I didn't want to break it too much so I'm going to continue to wipe the rest of the frame down and I'll show you how I do that I also need to sort out the brakes. The brakes are not great, so you can see how, like, I don't know, maybe that's what they're supposed to be like. It's like really tough. I guess you know they're on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'll put some WD-40 all through there. Make sure that this is okay. Um, that's the lever for the seat to go up and down. And, oh, this is the, I don't know why, I think this is like sun faded. Can you see the colour? Yeah, you can see the colour difference. It's black at the bottom and then it gets lighter as it goes up. No idea what that is. But yeah, so it has an adjustable handlebar. And there's the little logo, the baby. Right, let's wipe it down.
I just wipe the whole frame down with a uh, like a soapy um, solution, like so it's disinfectant, a uh, bit of washing, whatever was in the bath, washing powder and a um, like a stain remover. So what I want to do is just wipe it down with water now to get any soap residue that would be left off there. It um, doesn't really need to be that great. It's, these frames are um, aluminium and sprayed with a coating normally, which is what this is. So it's really not a bother. It's just because it feels a bit slimy. I don't like it. And the handlebar covers. They've got some marks on them, but I don't think it's actual, uh, I don't think it's mold, I just think it's wear and tear, because these are the handlebar covers, so they should be in worse condition than what they are in, because they get used so much. I don't know. I hope that these uh, handlebars dry out, because under this is a, this like leatherette stuff is a foam, and we need that to dry out. So if it doesn't dry out, it's going to be awful. Hopefully it dries out. And to dry the seat, I think I'm just going to put it on the frame to dry. But then I need somewhere to put this frame. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I leave it in the bathroom where it's got tiled floor or put it out on the veranda or like outside where it can get some air. I think that that look how gross that water is. Like you can't even see the bottom of that. I have taken all the stuff out. Here's more of the water. So that's it in like a thinner, a thinner shade instead of the whole bath. But I um, put all of the items from the bath into this bucket because um, my laundry and my bathroom are separate. And then I carried it to the laundry and I put them in. And that's the leftover water. I tried to drain as much of it out as possible because I kind of wanted to give it a second rinse. But this is already looking so good. Obviously this is wet, but it's just looking really good already. Love it. So let's drain this. I do not want to drop this. Ew. I'm going to have to like clean all of this bath out. Oh, is it stuck? What happened? Oh no, it's still going. Ow, almost got my fingers taken off. That's gross. I can see like the plug hole. Okay, so it's in the washing machine. I'm gonna put some soap in there. I'm gonna put, I think I'm just gonna put soap in it. I mean, it has soaked in this for probably an hour. Normally I leave me in there. Yeah, look at all the bits on the bottom. And I tried to get all that off as well. Ew, I don't want that all stuck in the bar. What way does the water go down in your country? It goes down clockwise in our country, but I know it doesn't go down clockwise in everyone else's. Ugh. All right, I've got to rinse all this out of the bath now. So washing machine is going. And under cover, I've put the pram to dry. Um, <laughs> will take a while it's really not a, a nice day but it will dry I'm really hoping I really hope it's sunny tomorrow because otherwise I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't already wet but I figured I just may as well finish it I really want to spray this you can see how it's kind of like chipping off probably because I wet it but I had to wet it I totally forgot about the bassinet so the bassinet had like the hairy nest in it. There's some of it. Really not too bad when you think about it. So this was just wet from the rain. I don't know what this clips onto. I can't remember. I must have to, I'm looking at my adapter. Um, or not my adapter, but I'm looking at how my Versapram goes on and it's not like that. So I'm going to have to figure out what it goes on to, but I will sort it and I'll let I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is wet, but I don't want to wet it a lot more. I'm gonna get a damp cloth and wipe it all over. That should be enough. There you go. It was made in 2015 and it's 2020. I don't even know. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna wipe it over with this cloth. 
just like this. We want to like get all the hair off there. But remember this has a cover that goes over it as well. So it's not like this is the, the only thing. So we'll get all the big bits off and wipe it over and it will be all ready and good to go. So this is day two. It's not sunny, but it's not rainy. <laughs> it's just like windy, cold. Um, I'm not sure how long this has been put outside, but my mum <laughs> I asked her to put it outside in the sun today. So it did have a little bit of time in the sun, but I can see a few marks that I've missed along here. So I think I'm gonna get like a damp cloth and a wipe all those marks over. It's just probably that when I was scrubbing I missed them. And I think all of this is just new tree stuff that's fallen in since. I'll get some scissors and cut those bits off. All of this came up pretty nicely. The frame definitely needs like a respray or a quick spray. But I feel like that is all doable. So I'll do that today. I might need to like scuff some of this up because I think that the soapy water um, made it bubble a little bit and peel a bit better. Yeah, you can see it's kind of just peeling off. I guess it's only like this is smooth, so to have this paint stick to it, it's not a lot. Okay, let's do those things. I've just grabbed um, this solution which is water, vinegar, eucalyptus oil and detergent and a scrubbing brush. And I'm just getting all the little bits that I've missed. You can see a bit of mold there but there isn't that much that you can't come back from it. So I think this, that will be okay. Just going to check in all the creases and make sure I get all of this off. I just did this side, but I haven't done it, scrubbed it enough, so I need to probably put a little bit more solution on there and scrub it. So that's what I'll do now. So, like I said, windy and half sunny. It's like sunny and cloudy and it's just windy today, which is good for washing, obviously. We have bees out on the line. They hung inside last night. So just want to make sure that they're all getting dry, move them around. We did get a tear in our basket. I'm not sure if it's the bottom, I think it's the bottom, so it might have already been there and I just didn't notice. Um, this is the bassinet that still has a ton of hair, so I'm going to take one of those hair brushes, like a hair removal brush to it, and that's the liner for it. And this is the pram liner, which actually came up half decent. Um, yeah, like it's not perfect, but I feel like maybe if you scrubbed at it that you could get it perfect. I don't know. I'm not sure about that yet. I'll bring it inside. And this is the hood. It wasn't really dirty or anything. This is like brilliant material where it just runs off. And that didn't have any mold or anything on it. It was fine. It was just this piece that had all the cat hair on it. And the mattress was under that, so that copped it. Hood's all good. Bus got a tiny tear, but I think that's underneath. I'm just looking at this inside. Maybe I need to give that more of a scrub. It's like something was put there. So I'll go get the spray and wipe and I'll do that. This is the bassinet like inserty covery thing. I don't know, whatever it's called. I'm gonna take that with a clothes brush. I did take to this side already. You can probably see a little bit of an improvement. I mean, that's crazy. Bean to Bunnings to grab some black matte spray paint I'm gonna I've got a piece of cardboard that you can see down there like it's a thin piece from like a a nice cream box or a cereal box or something like that so that you can shape it and I'm gonna like shape it in here like this kind of um, so that I don't get any paint on the fabric because I couldn't get this fabric off so it is what it is um, I just got this little bit of sandpaper and I just want to like scuff this up so that I don't want to like sand it. Oh, that's a terrible angle. Um, but I just want like anything that's loose, anything that's going to just fall off, I want to kind of get at. Um, but I don't want to make huge marks 
in there because it's all straight and I don't want to upset it all. But I think the soap upset it a little bit. So anyways, let's spray this and we'll be back. Okay, so we're sprayed and the spray paint's a little wet. Um, did the front, I think it bubbled a little bit. I don't know if it got wet. No, it didn't bubble. It's just how it's sitting at the moment. I'm not sure. Anyways, it's taken the eye off it from over here. It looks really good. Um, the extendable handle, I had that down before, but I'm not going to paint here because that's bound to scratch um, from going up and down. So the rest of it, it just took the eye off it. There was a few scratches here and there, and I think there was one here and there. And on this side, I don't know, I did there, I did there. I pretty much gave the whole pram a really quick spray. Oh, the other part I did was here. So I need to do a second coat because some of the little bits, you can see they're seeping. Obviously it looks terrible, but because there was a layer of paint here and a layer of paint here, to do it properly, you'd have to literally sand the whole frame back to bare metal and then recoat it, which I kind of seem like feel like that's ridiculous so I think filling it in will be good once this is well it's dry to touch so I might put another layer on it in another like 10 minutes and then we can start putting the pram back together we can zip the hood on we can put the basket on I think that's all that goes on the pram yeah <laughs> and then we can also put the bassinet together I forgot the hood I did the touch-ups that looks a lot better now so it's hard to see that. I fixed this up, that looks better now. I'll get some turps and go on the plastic where I got any. It just looks a lot better. But yes, I totally forgot this. <gasps> there goes probably another. <laughs> oh my gosh, actually, legit. I put those two scratches in it there. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Oh well, anyways, I've got to spray this. So I'm going to possibly clip it onto here and spray it I don't know because it's only got one arm or just like hold it and spray it I think I'll hold it and spray it sorry I haven't filmed me spray painting but it's just general spray painting hold you know the can back it's just a can of spray paint like eight dollars and nine dollars from Bunnings squirts and it's flat black flat black because the frame is already a flat black and once it dries, it will dry better. But it looks, sometimes it looks wet because it's still wet. But yeah, it will dry better. You just, if you're doing something like this, you need, you need to blend it in. So you want to like make sure it's thin and far enough away. Anyways, let's spray this. For snipped, we can put the, what is that called? I don't know why I can't remember things today. This is foam and this is a bassinet cover. So this is like the mattress and the bassinet cover. Um, I found out that these are actually the correct adapters. I thought that they were adapters for a maxi cozy because that's exactly what the top of a maxi cozy capsule adapter looks like. But it fits into the side of this and goes on a City Mini, which I don't have, <laughs> or a City Mini GT. So. I wanted it for the Versa, but you can't find like the brackets to fit the Versa very easily, so that's a bum. Oh well, I enjoyed at least cleaning it up and stuff like that, so that's where I have my fun. <laughs> Let's put this back on. So I don't think it goes a particular way, maybe it does, oh my gosh, yeah, it goes this way. This way is longer. In the little foamy bits. I'm gonna put this in and then that will go in here and then I'll zip the hood on as well. Baby Jogger also loved their Velcro, 
They have a few Velcros to keep this in place as well. So they've got Velcro for the hood. You can't really see that. Let me try on this side. That's better. Velcro on the hood here. Velcro on the sides. On the bottom of this and then Velcro to each other. So this is the liner, like the bassinet liner, this part. That goes one, that's the other side of the liner and then this is the hood. So that fits in there nicely, it's really comfy. This is actually the deluxe bassinet that Baby Jogger do. The other one um, is a bassinet from the seat frame of the City Select, but this bassinet I believe goes to all of the prams depending on which adapter you have. Now these adapters here, I recognized straight away when I picked them up that they were Baby Jogger just because Baby Jogger had this is their kind of adapter. But these ones I've never had before, and I believe that this is for a City Mini. So you undo this. This is also a Maxi Cozy capsule adapter, but it does fit in the little sides. I had a look before. Which side of it is? This one. Let me in. There we go. And the pram frame goes like in here, and then you close it on the pram frame, which would be my fingers, and then it holds on somehow. I don't know. <laughs> so I can't use this with my purse like I intended to, but it's okay. These are the adapters that I'm talking about. And that is on, I don't know if it's our right or their right, but this goes on the inside. It should be this one. No, this goes on the inside. No, let's try this one. One second. No, this goes on the inside. Okay. See that clips on right in there. And then that would go on your cram frame somehow. <laughs> that looks wrong. No, it doesn't, because that's the way the pram frame would go. If you were facing the baby, the pram frame would go that way. But would it fit? It must do. Here comes a standard. Okay, cool. Um, all that I have left is the other, or well, is the pram, to wait for the spray paint to dry and then put it all back together.